How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. It's day seven. It's your weekend warrior series and we're getting right after it today guys. You already know. So uh, what's the what's the difference between people who get shit done every single day and work towards what they want and the people who procrastinate uh, and don't get the things done that they need to? Procrastination isn't a real thing. If I told you tomorrow I'll give you a million dollars if you're here at 5 o'clock and you have this, this, and this done, I don't think you'd really procrastinate too much. I'm pretty sure you'd get all those things done so you could collect your million dollars. Problem is, it's just not important enough to you. And I understand, guys. We got birthdays. We got parties. We got workout schedules. We got regular work schedules. We got family to attend to. We got our eating habits that you know we need to put it in, plan into the day. Our relaxing time, and we need to sleep. Uh, all these things are stuff we need to do throughout the normal day, and it kind of cramps up on the time that we have to propel ourselves forward. But there's 24 hours in a day, and it really depends on how you use them. Now, if you're looking to find more time. Yeah, that's a losing battle. You're never going to find more time. There's only 24 hours. If you spend your time looking for more time, they'll probably take you away to a place with a lot of padding and three square meals a day. So when it comes down to it, what's going to what's going to be the determining factor? Um, well, a little bit of sacrifice, like we like we talked about in the last video. You, maybe you sacrifice an hour of sleep, get seven hours, and take that extra hour to read a book or uh, work on your business or uh, whatever and uh, maybe a little bit of planning because there's a big there's a big portion of the day that people are uh, using an indifference they don't really know there's so many things to do in the day that they really don't um, they really don't take the time to actually do the things they just think about all the things they need to do and which one they should start on and who knows an hour or two hours later they finally get around to doing it so planning your day, planning your week, planning your year, planning your life, uh, it, has a, it has a profound effect on your motivation, on your decision making skills, on your ability to execute because you have a more clear and defined path and with your brain obviously, your subconscious brain and your uh, conscious brain, it, it brings about a certain amount of clarity to your day and a certain amount of precision to your actions. So when we go and start planning a day, how do we plan our day? How do we plan a week? How do we plan a month, let alone a year? Well, the thing is, we always have to work backwards. I know I've told you this before, but you need to find out what you truly want. And we need to work backwards from there because you don't want to end up working on something for five, six months and find out you don't really want it. What if you're, what if you're trying to build an e-commerce uh, you know, online business and you find out that you'd really rather just work in health and fitness your entire life or something like that. Uh, if you work those six months to build in that e-commerce business, don't get me wrong, you'll have a lot of transferable skills, but think about how far you could have came if you just had truly known what you wanted in the beginning and started working on that health and fitness business. So keep that in mind, know what you truly want and then work backwards from there. If you want to be in five years, if you want to have your own business, your own empire, your uh, physical uh, gym that people want to go to, set those goals up. Start working backwards. Find out what it would take to build a gym, build an online business, build an uh, uh, email subscriber list, build a 100K profit a year. Find out what it would take to do that. Then work backwards. Set up little mini goals. Set up little steps. Then work backwards from there. Keep working backwards until you can get down to your weekly weekly goals and your daily goals. And start setting those up. Plan them. Use Google Calendar. That's what I've been using lately. And don't get me wrong. Life's crazy. Uh, slot some times out for the things that you're not expecting. And you'll be able to move forward at a much higher rate, much higher pace. Uh, then really after you planned it, really it comes down to execution. And doing as much of it as you can as you possibly can in the amount of time you've been given. So uh, for me, you know, a lot of the days I am just worn out, I'm burnt out, I'm exhausted. Sometimes, uh, you know, I'm to the point where when I have things planned out, I'm head bobbing, I'm nodding out, um, and I'll fall asleep and I might not get around to it or I might... Uh, I might give in and actually take a nap and just, you know, but you have to realize that where, you know, where your focus uh, drifts off and where your, um, where your energy goes. So 
So let, let me put an example for you. If I'm trying to focus on work, but my energy is so low that I can't even keep my head up, I'm not really even doing any good there. Unless I start, unless I try and change that state, unless I, uh, unless I get some caffeine in my body, maybe. And even then, sometimes you know that's not necessarily the right approach because the massive caffeine in your body isn't necessarily always the healthiest choice, but. Maybe sometimes you do need to take those naps and uh, forego a little bit of the side projects, but always remember to do as much as you can do. Do all that you can do, because all that you can do is enough, as long as you do all that you can do. Keep that in mind this weekend, this last, this Sunday, as you start finishing up your weekend and getting ready for the week, that do all that you can do, guys. I, I understand, you know, maybe cut off work at you know 19 18 1900 that's uh, six or seven o'clock for uh, anybody who uses the regular time like a normal person <laughs> and uh, but yeah maybe cut off then cut off your work schedule then and just relax with the family and hang out and um, you know do the things that you need to do to prepare yourself to be able to hit it full on hit it full charge this coming week whatever your goals might be guys they're they're your goals. You have to take action on them. Nobody, I'll give you all the information that I possibly can to help you uh, move forward. In this, but if you're not doing the action, if you're not taking the right uh, steps towards progressing yourself, there's no magic cure that I can give you or meditation trick or rewiring of the brain or any of that that's going to make it the difference unless you do the work. And, uh, you know, that's part of what what we go what we just went over like planning is a way to take away the indifference so that way you do the work you know what you have to do plan it out so that way you're not trying to decide what you have to do and go after it and just do it so that's what I got for you guys today uh, I hope you took these words of wisdom and uh, you start applying them because that's what I that's what I was just talking about it's Max Fisher from a better universe your mind body spirit connection I'll see you guys tomorrow later